Hi, I'm Wendy from Abundant Living Mommy. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be doing a holiday gift of a kitchen towel or a, what's called as a tea towel. And so first what you're going to do is you're going to purchase a 100% cotton um, thin towel. And then you're going to choose your stencil. And you can either cut one out if you have one um, specifically that you are interested in. Or you can purchase some pre-made. They're easy to pick out. And... Um, you can layer them, do different colors. You're gonna iron your tea towel, you're gonna wash it, and then you're gonna iron it so it's nice and flat. You have a nice smooth surface. And then you're going to decide what you're going to, to do first for your painting. So you're going to take some tape and you're going to stick it on all four sides so that you have it down nice and snug so that it's not going to move. You're gonna choose the colors that you want. You're going to choose um, fabric paint that is specifically used just for fabric and will give the ability for it to, um, to not come off through the washings. And once you choose the colors that you want to do, you're going to take your, and I, and I like these. These are uh, a paint pen and I find these work just a little easier. You're gonna shake it up and then you're just gonna add a little bit of the color to the area that you're going to work in. And you're going to work in small stages. You're going to take your brush and I have three different sizes to choose from that I prefer. Um, I like to use uh, a small one for some of the small areas and a medium sized one. And then you're just going to go ahead and you're going to blend it in. You're going to start in the corner and you're going to just <clears throat> make sure that you have it flat. You don't want to have any bleeding and you're simply going to paint all of the stencil. And you can add a little bit to all of it. I prefer to do a little bit at a time just so you make sure that you don't get too much and you don't get too much bubbling or bleeding. You're just gonna wanna add a little bit to the area, blending it into the fabric nice and smooth. Again, holding it down, it's kind of one of the most important things. I love decorative towels. I would love this as a gift myself personally. I just think they're so fun and festive. You can make them for all occasions. If you wanted to do one specifically right now for Christmas, you can do a poinsettia or you can have um, a Santa or um, Merry Christmas. Uh, but I like to change mine out through, through the through the season, so springtime. So that's why today I've chosen to do a bird and some uh, leaves because I think this will be perfect for the springtime. And I'm gonna include it in a gift basket that I'm going to do for a friend, along with some of the other do-it-yourself gifts. And once you have completed the one <clears throat> stencil, you can decide if you want to. So I'm doing a branch and you can decide if you wanna go ahead and make the bird uh, the same color or a different color. And when you're ready to move on, uh, you would go ahead and you would just lift it up, your stencil, very gently. You're just gonna pull it up. And you have the branch and then let that dry just for a little bit and then you would go ahead and you would wipe your, your stencil off and then you would position the next, um, the bird that I'm going to do, that would be the next thing that I'm going to stencil on and I would place it where I want it and then I'm gonna go ahead and add the next color paint and then you're just gonna do that in stages and let it dry. Uh, for the full details, visit www.abundantlivingmommy.com for the exact spe specifications. And I thank you so much, and I wish you a Merry Christmas.